Catman Jules here. I'm going to do a quick in the box, check it out, out of the box review. It's the Oxbeam Control. It has the six buttons, and this one comes with the fuse board and the relays and the long cable, lots of stickers. I got it from uh, AliExpress, it arrived today, which is the 2nd of February, or is it the 3rd? Well, let's say it's the 2nd. Uh, and I ordered it on the 16th of January, so just about two weeks, give or take. So, can't argue with that. It was £80 all in to my door. So let's take a look. Uh, there's a destruction manual and that's what you get so zoom in a second you get your six button controller that's your on off and your settings now this is metal it's pretty weighty it's not cheap plastic at all Buttons field quality. That's that. You get your long extension, as you can see there. That's that. Just bear me one second. Uh, I believe it's 15 foot. It doesn't look 15 foot, but I believe it's 15 foot. Uh, so that's your fitting on the back. Put that in a minute. This is your switch panel. Oof. Get some weight to this back here. Yeah. Oops, I'm not going to be able to get all this back in. <laughs> so, let's open this. You've got your six relays. As you can see. Uh, six there, six fuses, weight wiring gears, some weight to that, so you most likely try and fit this in your engine bay, because that would make sense if you've got the room. So let's put that back there, the minuet. I'm going to just, I'm going to just clip on like that. Uh, at least take the place of some fuses so they fit in and um, yes, the fuse. And you can put that splice on there. You've got Allen keys. Don't know if Allen wants them back. Some washers, screws, bolts. And nuts, spare fuses, a nice metal bracket. Please use this cover in rain and snow, car wash or surfing at the beach. So I guess that goes on like that. Sticky pad. We have a scroggy, a little scroggy. Metal bracket and some uh, tie wraps. Quite a few tie wraps there at the back. Now, there's different ways of mounting. So that would go something like that. Yeah, because they're threaded to hold. Yeah. So you'd, you'd fix that how you want it onto your dash or your panel somewhere. And that would probably go on the back of a control panel, maybe. Or vice versa. Yeah, vice versa. Yeah. So you can, that fits there. Two screws hold that in place. And you would fix this to your dash or wherever. It squeeze them in a little bit like that. Yeah. And that's that. So let's open the packet of the destruction sheet now there is, I noticed 
a QR code uh, which will take you straight to the videos on YouTube. Uh, comes with a sticker. I won't really be using that because I don't see why I should advertise for free. Uh, stickers. Uh, most of them make sense. A couple caught my eye. Whip. Okay. <laughs> you got a light bar, light bar, cubes, roof, rear, fog, fog lights, cargo, cargo, beep, backup, amber grill, lots of ours. Sirens, sway bar, horn, fridge, ox, air, GPS, access fuel, food, lockable, enable. So that'll be your locker. You've got your camera. You've got them windshield. Yeah, because I've seen lots of people now have little uh, lights fitted on the, just in front of the windscreen. DRL. I uh, don't know what that is. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Horn. So if you're horny, uh, I quite like these, but I'm not a big fan. <laughs> Never mind. The jokes are free. Strobe, stereo, uh, stereo, stereo. I guess it means hi fi thing or com what they call uh, ice stuff. And a fish box. Yeah, that's, that's useful. So let's look at this. The switch it's quite well made. It's colourful. So if you want to be in my gang, oops, I shouldn't say that. Bad song. Well, bad person. So that's what's included, and it tells you the details there. So let's zoom in. Do -do -do -do. A little bit about the actual panel itself. You can have nighttime. Daytime tells you about there. It's dimmable. Uh, how to get a good clean before you put your stickers on, or if you want to take your stickers off. Uh, one way of mounting it, and that's like a, a show. Screws on the back and bolts in place. You could have a sticker, and there's a couple of places where you can shove it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a bit on the back. Control box installation. Now there you go. It looks like it's in the engine bay. Quite simple. Uh, even if I can follow this. Right, that's your ratings and your relays. They do vary. Uh, AC fuse connection. Not AC, it's ACC, which is your accessory, isn't it? Yeah. It's your accessory. And there you can splice in, replace the, the fuse with the ones with the cable. Makes the fuse adapt to advantages. And then just your connection, tips, tips, question and answers. Do we do we do do do? That's, that's quite interesting. Oops, just hit the roof on the shed. So it's, it's braided. Which good. Some weight to this. And then that's where you put your finger. There's your connect to ACC. Now, personally, I've never seen relays as small as this. So I'll have to relay on what people tell me. You've got a 5, two tens, two twenties, and a 30. There's a lot of weight to this. Which sort of usually generally means if it's something with weight is fairly substantial and well put together. Uh, I can see right below. You can't quite see but I can fit the wiring below. It looks okay. Let's rip out one of these. If I could that's painful for my fingers. Nope, I can't get them out. But, yep, so as you realise, I used to fight to like a full six. And six miles worth. That's cool. And then, like I said, you get this, which 
I think in the destruction sheet it says it's 15 foot. So it says it, so it must be. Well, like I said, I'd see some really cheap plasticky ones, six or eight panel on eBay for about 35 quid, 40 quid. But they look really cheap and plasticky. Now this, I paid 66 for this, plus tax and shipping to England, UK, Great Britain, whatever you want to call it, I'm English. Uh, so I like 14 quid and a few pins on top of 66. So I, I paid 80 quid. Uh, like I said, rather than go for cheap and take, which I usually go for cheap and cheerful, I thought I'll buy this. It should last because why I want to use one of these for my 4 before my Pajero, is it Pajero? Pajero peeps! What in it? Is once this is wired up, everything I cannot have it failing because it's going to be wired up to stuff that I need 24/7 to be reliable. Hot weather, sub-zero temperatures, moisture in the air, everything. So if they're going cheap, I bought something that hopefully will last. So I'm going to pop this all away. Weather's outside is not very good, uh, so I'm not going to be able to play around test mounting where I'm going to want the control panel, but hopefully in a day or two I'll be able to do that. And then in the very near future, next week or two, I'll get this fitted and I'll see what I'm going to be having. Now, my train of thought is, okay, let's put that there. The six, as you can see. Now, I do have lots of LEDs and spotlights on my phone, which I, I have a toggle for uh, the white box on the dash. That's two light bars, four spotlights, um, some smaller lights. But anyway, they run through lots of relays and fuses. But anyway. now this. I am thinking I want to wire up some lights on the side to the left of the vehicle I want some lights to the right of the vehicle and I want some at the rear so I'm thinking bottom left for the left bottom right for the right in the middle rear for the rear lights and that gives me three still to play with uh, I've got to fit an axle, which I've got, which has got a rear diff. Uh, it's sat on my drive under my Delica at the moment. It's from a Shogun. I haven't got the air compressor. But, uh, so, let's have a look. What uh, GPS? Right. So there you've got front and rear lockers. Beep, cargo, back up, yeah, you've got backup light. Uh, or you could have rear, because I guess backup lights, we you call reversing light, but separate switch from where you stick it in reverse. Uh, interior lights, possibly, for uh, But here you've got side, back, rear, bumper roof, first cargo, horn. Schwebo stereo, lock and able, and some blank ones there, you've got, you got some upsy downsy ones. And a stop start. Anyway, so that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to put it away because I always, always lose things. And like I said, in the next couple of days, I'll get this mock fitted to inside my Pajero on the dash or somewhere. See how long this gets me. Uh, and where I can put it through the firewall. See if I have space in the engine bay for this. And then we'll be good to go. So thanks for watching. Uh, inbox, outbox, 
ox beam control six panel there's a huge difference in jumping price between the six and the eight so but yes so thanks for watching and wait for part two